Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on gamification. Now let's start with what is gamification? A group of activities and procedures that resolve issues by utilizing gaming elements or applying their attributes is known as gamification. Gamification is used to strategically augment activities, companies, services and systems to prompt and grip users. This is done by creating experiences that are similar to those encountered while playing games. In-game design principles and elements are applied to context not related to games to achieve these experiences. Moving on to gamification benefits. First, to boost user engagement. Next, more public characteristics. Next, physical exercise. Fourth, functionality of systems. Fifth, convenient use. Sixth, productiveness within organization. Seventh, acquiring knowledge. Eighth, retaining knowledge. Motion crowdfunding and recruiting and evaluating employees now moving on to the origin of the term gamification the word gamification was devised by nick pelling in 2002 gartner in 2014 they defined the term to mean the following gamification is a use of game mechanics and experience design to digitally engage and motivate people to achieve their goals moving on to gamification techniques People tend to have a natural desire towards socializing, expressing themselves, contesting, learning, accomplishment, mastery and status. They also tend to react to real life situations as they would to play or games situation. These propensities are leveraged with the help of gamification methods. To attract players, rewards are used by gamification schemes for players that complete tasks or win competitions. Rewards can be in the form of achievement as in level badges, points, virtual currency or a progress bar being filled. Players can then be motivated to compete with others by providing scoreboards or displaying rewards to other players for finishing their task. Moving on to gamification tools. First points: the fundamental components of various gamified applications and games are points. They are traditionally offered as rewards for accomplishing particular tasks in gamified surroundings. The progress of a player can also be quantified through points. There are different types of points like redeemable points, experience points, reputation points, etc. Moving on to badges. Accomplishments can be visually represented through badges. In addition, they can be earned and gathered in gamification surroundings. The goals or levels achieved by players are visible through their badges, which also represent their merits and certify their accomplishments. Either task in the game or a certain amount of points can help players earn badges. Next, scoreboards. The ranking of players is based on their accomplishments that are compared to specific criteria for their success. The best performance of specific tasks can be determined through scoreboards. Hence, scoreboards are competitive indexes for success that compare a player's performance with that of others. Next, performance-based graphs. Performance graphs are very common among strategy or simulation games. They provide data that compares a player's previous performance to their current performance. Hence, unlike a scoreboard that compares the performance of a player with those of others, a performance graph analyzes the player's own performance. Next, avatars. Visual embodiments of players in a gamification surrounding or game are known as avatars. They can either be complex, three-dimensional, animated representations or they can be simple pictograms. The principal requirement is for them to represent the players undeniably and be unique from other computer or human control avatars. And finally, let's look at gamification examples done by companies. First, Nike. The main name of the Nike Plus app, formerly known as Nike Run Club app when it was developed by Nike, was to encourage people to train consistently. Along with features like personalized coaching plans, GPS tracking and directed workouts, the app also integrated gamification to increase user engagement. In-app challenges were designed by Nike that enabled competition between different users. Every challenge was attainable only for a short period. This instilled urgency and in turn drove user action. Rewards and achievements attained by users could be announced to their friends and each run they completed. Personalized messages were used to celebrate small wins. Nike Plus app attained its aim of instilling consistency among users with respect to training, all done behind the aspect of gamification. The next example is of Burger King's campaign Lockdown Whopper. In 2020, quarantine was gamified by Burger King with the campaign named Lockdown Whopper in Brazil. During the pandemic, people who stayed home were rewarded by Burger King Brazil. With the help of the data provided to mobile marketer, Burger King used the geolocation feature in its mobile app. This was done to gauge whether their customers stayed indoors. Customers were rewarded with snacks initially and then with more valuable rewards like combination meal, whoopers and sandwiches. The campaign by Burger King started on June 4, 2020 and involved agencies namely David SP and David Miami.
The other example of gamification from Burger King is the Burn That Ad campaign. Again in Brazil, mobile users who set fire virtually to outdoor advertisements of competitors of Burger King were provided free Whooper through a feature in their app. The pickup, payment and pre-ordering attribute of the Burger King Express service was emphasized by this campaign. This campaign was also created by David S.P. And finally to conclude, gaming always adds joy to life. However, an entirely new level is unlocked when a physical location is integrated with digital gaming elements. The definite value that customers get through gratification campaign makes them distinctly successful. They also help get permissions from app users to put notifications and location by incentivizing the action and making it easy. So that's it folks, this brings an end to the topic on gamification. These are some of the sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.